to stream and commenting. Let's go right into it. Continuing in our winner's bracket, FXDFW Hamyojo versus Mutang. I'm glad that he's going by Mutang. It makes me Mutang. happy. Mutang. Mutang Financials, dude. Diversify your bonds. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we had we had like the stereotypical Mediterranean laugh there. It was great. It was wonderful, man. Oh yes, this is gonna be a that fun was one. Simbad esque. I love oh, it. Oh god, you nice falling that. bear. Wow, look at this. Ninety seven percent, barely an answer from Ham Yojo, and that's gonna be a punish right there for landing off the stage. Not quite the optimal punish though. Ham Yojo with a gimp opportunity, Ooh. unable to find it though. Another option maybe. Oh, but a nice air dodge means that he's able to make it back safely. Mm -hmm. Okay, but right now we're seeing Hamyoja doing a great job of really boxing out. And, um, oh wow, Keiichi catching that texture. Wow! No, missing the fair. That could have been the stock right there. There's the bear to push him out. Now he needs to play traditional. Play smart, play smart. Come on. This is a punish. There it is. That's simple. That's a great DI from Hamyoja. He was expecting the follow up, so he was able to get the DI perfectly. So there's something actually you can do with Falco, which is neat, is against other spaces, is his charged down smash, it reduces the hitbox right below him. So there's no hurtbox, right? And then you can drop down and you can use that, which is really neat. So you can use that for those weird situations where they poke their head up a little bit too much and then bring that down really fast. Oh, good stuff for finishing the stock. It's really good. And one thing that I have to give Hamilton props on is his punish game was pretty solid. Even though at the beginning of that last stock, uh, it was a lot of damage from Mu uncontested, he brought that back, putting on a nice 97%, if I remember Ooh. correctly. Eats that forward smash. Ends up losing that stock. There's a one stock difference here, but I'm convinced that Hamiojo can get the gimps if he makes just a little bit of adjustments in regards to when he's throwing out the uh, needles as well as his aerials. So I don't know if this still counts in this game, but you can like smash the eye um, Falco's lasers on the up throw in PM. So you can like double tap between like the movement stick and the C stick, and you'll DI away from it and prevent kind of further uh, chances. But. Where is he going? There's nice these guys are just using nares back and forth directly out of shield, trying to really pester each other. It's a nice quick option. It really makes your opponent. Oh, oh my. my! But he ends up saving him. Yo, Hamlet. Yo, that was dirty. That was that was, that was the Charles Dickens man. That it was, was the best of times. It was the worst of times. And that's the fair of time. That was the tale of two cities. Nice set of needles. Unable to get the follow up. Unfortunately, Mutang still in this, and he didn't get the punish he was looking for either on that whiff down smash. Maybe has another opportunity here. Clips him with that up air. Oh, coming down. No, oh, he's not gonna get it. I want to see a laser and a quick mix up from Wu-Tang. Oh, no, down smash yeah. to finish the stock. That is effective. Hamiojo is one gimp away, honestly, from making this a tied stock game. Yeah. We can't count him out yet. I mean, but Hamiojo, he's gonna have to make something quick happen. Oh. I mean, he's at 90% and it's only going up. It's... It's getting kind of rough. He can't really do the tech chase opportunities. Oh. He needs to go straight for the edge. He needs to go straight for the kill. This one could more. be bad. Yes. No, no, no. One wow, more. that was such a crisp That's it. needle. That's it. Wow. That was exactly what Hamiojo Ham needed. Really good stuff making the adjustments. Oh, Can he gosh. make the gimp? But that was a quick downer, actually. That was so scary. Yeah, he needed that dare. One more, one more. No, 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 he's waiting, he's waiting, he's waiting. He doesn't want to go, he doesn't want to choose Dare because it's too risky of an option right now. And he can't, he, even though he has that solid percent lead, he knows Hester. that it doesn't matter. If Hamilton can get there one is. grab, force Mutang off of the stage, that will be the end of the stock. Oh! This that was could tricky. be rough. Oh, that was so tricky. There, if there was more percentages on him, that could have been the stock. Good stuff with the Dare, getting this set up, and grabbing on the ledge. Mutang's having a hard time here. Yes, that's it. There it is. You know, I was I was a little bit worried for a second. Wu-Tang, he had a solid control of the game overall. Yeah, but it was all about that last stock. And especially against a character like Sheik, who has so many great Gimps. gimping tools, yeah. you need to be able to clean your plate. You she really do. Definitely end stocks very early. So um, let's go into this next one, though. And let's see who can really set the pace at the beginning. Because it at, for a little while there, it felt like Hamlin kind of caught a move's rhythm and then just kept going from there. Um, this neutral though is really scary, right? Because what what you want Falco, what Falco wants to do, chuck those lasers and then force a response out of out of Hamlet, right? Either he shields and Mu goes in, goes for grab, or he 
connects, and then he can follow up with additional combos or uh, shine specifically. Good Ooh, dunk. That's nice. put him in that call. Yeah, beautiful double there. There. And one thing that I like to add that Mu seems to be going for, in addition to going for the grabs after the shield response, is he'll actually go in and overshoot his aerials so he can essentially land an aerial. Uh, and if Hamiljo stays in his shield, then he'll be behind him, which means that Hamiljo can't get the grabs that he's really looking for. Okay. Really good spacing by Mu. See, like right there, he, he literally ran past before planting in that bear on the reverse end of Hamiljo's shield. Because he wanted to avoid that shield grab, yeah? Exactly. Okay. No, he's good spacing. Down smash, yep. That's really good stuff. stuff. And Wu Tang already up two stocks. He's at a very high percent. You can see Hamiljo looking for that forward tilt, trying to set up for a fair. That's interesting it. angle, but uh, doesn't quite make it back onto the uh, the edge. I think that he guessed he would have had more vertical height. Yeah. Maybe I had enough room to really fall into that edge. Like he was hoping. Yeah, but not so much. It didn't quite work. It's okay. He's still coming back on. He has a fire in him. He's going to see what he can make happen on this stock. He has one stock on Hamlin, but... Oh, wow. He just waited for that wake up. Oh, really he was stuff. a little bit further along. He could have caught him, but... This is great stuff that we're seeing. This combo potential from Sheik is ridiculous. But I'm liking the little things that Mutang is doing offstage. You'll notice that he'll use the shine just to stall his momentum Ooh. enough to make it so that Hamiojo doesn't have the best read in regards to how he's going to recover. You're right. And with those double, dare, uh, double bears, he uh, took that stock, but... Mu coming back, trying to close, and uh, the distance has been closed. You're right. There's only about 20%, uh, but of course, as I say that, Falco is doing Ooh. just Falco things, racking up so much percentage. But Hamiojo, all he needs is one tilt, one grab, and it could be the end of Mu Tang's stock. Can we make a meme of just Falco things? Let's like a Pinterest that. page? Oh, yeah. Okay, going in. <laughs> Who would read that? I would. <laughs> you would. You're like the only Smasher I know that uses Pinterest. <laughs> oh, yes, but I only use it in fashion. Good fare, pushing him <laughs> out. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> Hamiojo has successfully taken the lead of this game, but he needs to be very careful. You can see him kind of hanging onto the edge, coaxing Mu to come in, maybe hoping to get a quick grab or something like that. Oh, oh no, 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 wow. risky. Yeah, very risky. It, dude, if he could have just dropped down and fared him, that, that's it. That would have been the stop. But, okay, just like that. We got last stocks, y'all. Who do you like? One for Hamlin, two for Wu Tang. Let me hear you. Uh, good up tilt. Uh, no, excuse me. Forward, tilt. forward up forward tilt to kind of. Yeah, he angled the forward tilt upward. Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, they're using crouch cancels here to kind of negate each other out. Oh, oh god, wow. he teched in wrong. He's been getting a no. lot of really good reads on Moose techs. I think that's the second time that he uh, expected the uh, tech in and oh. punched the up smash. Dude, Hamlin's been doing just a, such a good job of really reacting proper all tonight. Like, oh, good stuff. He needs to get it now. Punish opportunity down smash. Yep. Yeah, but he's, he landed, which means he has that jump. No, it's not going to be enough, though. Yeah. Really good stuff there by Mu Tang. Just hanging onto that edge to get that critical edge hog that he needed. Ends up taking that set 2 0. Great play. Fantastic movement. And overall, just the kill potential. Ridiculous.